Hey viewers, here's a skin fade I did earlier this week for a client. As you can see, I'm putting in the first guideline that I'm going to fade down into. Now this client is prone to shaving bumps and skin irritation, so I never use a detailer or shaver, but just my cordless magic clips with the lever closed and that seems to work for them and then they get no irritation and no bumps afterwards. So you've got to do what you know works best for your client. A quick tip here, if you're doing a home call or hotel visit, always have a head torch with you as you can't guarantee the lighting is going to be good at the location that you're traveling to. I've had this happen to me many times where I've gone to a location, the lighting's been poor, so I've needed that head torch to make sure I've got a clear view of the canvas that I'm working on when cutting a client's hair. As you can see, I've taken the skin about an inch above the occipital bone, which is the protruding bone at the back of the head, as the client likes a mid to high skin fade. Okay, now I'm putting in the second guideline using a 0.5 guard with the lever closed. I'm going up about an inch which will allow me to make a smooth blend. I've now removed the guard and I've got the lever completely open and then blending just beneath where I used the 0.5 guard closed. I'm now moving the lever midway between open and closed and I'm blending just beneath my last point. As you can see, I'm just using a gentle flicking motion to blend in the hair for a smooth transition. As you can see, I've opened up the lever again just to do a little bit of touch-up work. I like to do my touch-up work during the blend so I don't have to go back and fade again at the end. That's just my personal preference. And now I've moved the lever just before foot being fully closed so it's not completely closed and I'm blending just at the bottom of where I put the guideline from skin to hair. And this is a process I use just to give a very smooth transition. And following this, I'll then close the lever fully as I'm doing now. And then I'll knock out that bottom line for a smooth fade. Once again, as you can see, just doing a little bit of touch-up work just to make sure the fade is really smooth. Okay, now I'm using my 0.5 guard with the lever open. I'd already taken down the top of the head to the desired length, which was a number one with the lever open against the grain. I've now moved the lever midway and I'm just fading once again just below where I've had the lever open with the 0.5 guard in that gentle flicking motion. And after this I'm going to move the lever fully closed as you can see now so I can knock out that second guideline once again with that gentle flicking motion. It's always important whilst you may have the right technique never doubt what your eyes see and if you can still see a line then you want to continue to work on that until you blend out that line 
whether it be using the lever closed, mid-range or open, but just take your time and gently flick out and you'll remove the line. I use is to stick to the natural hairline of the client. I apologize that you can't see the best angle of what I'm doing here, but as you can see, I'm just using small, gentle motions just to work along the natural hairline of the client. This is to help avoid pushing a customer's hairline back, which you don't want to do. Just work with their natural hairline and don't be afraid to ask the customer if they would like it differently because some people do like their hairline maybe moved back a little bit to balance out the shape at the front but it's an individual thing for every client so make sure you check in with them so that they get the results that they want repeat the same process on the other side of the client's hairline. Once again, as you can see whilst I've sped up this video, just using small gentle motions, not pressing down too hard and sticking to the natural hairline and that will give your customer a razor sharp skin fade.